Grab a torpedo and pull up your speedo. This is survival hack. Picture this, you're out in the ocean just maxing, relaxing, and acting all cool, when suddenly you notice a trianguloid dorsal fin getting closer and closer until da 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 situation shark attack. Now fighting a shark is easy, but fighting a shark and winning, well that's a little tougher. Luckily Grizzly Griddles is here to teach you the skills you need. But before you even think about diving into the deep blue sea, you gotta get prepared first. Bandage any and all exposed wounds carefully. Blood in the water's like a dinner bell to nearby sharks, and you don't want to be the one ringing it. Oh, and the same goes for peeing. That's right, young bucks. Do not urinate in open water. It has the exact same effect as blood, and will bring the shark straight to you, but from a much worse angle. So keep the tanko where it belongs inside a turlet or a swimming pool. Another way to stop a shark attack before it happens, avoid looking like a seal at all costs. I'm dead serious. Splishing and splashing around in open water will just make you look like a tasty treat from a shark's POV. So keep your relaxation in formation. But if all that fails and you do find yourself on the business end of a great flight, here's what to do. Step one, stay still and maintain eye contact. A shark prefers to strike when it has the element of surprise, so keep your aquatic attacker at bay by staring it right in its lifeless eyes. Black eyes. Like a doll's eyes. Step two. Stand your ground, er, stand your water, and fight back. See, deep down, sharks are cowards. The moment they realize you're not a helpless baby seal and you've got two fighting fists to steal, they'll swim back home to their mama quicker than you can say she sells seashells down by the sea shark attack. Hey, would you listen to that? It's time for Grizzly Griddles riddle in the middle. Here's today's hilarious head scratcher. <clears throat> Why did the hammerhead cross the reef? Stick around until the end for your answer. Now, back to the shark fighting. So now that you're locked in mortal combat with the shark, you've only got one chance. Step three, wallop that sharp toothed son of a gun in the face as hard as you can. You may have heard the rumor that the best place to hit him is square on the nose, but aiming there just increases the odds that the shark will take you by the hand, and I ain't talking about on the dance floor. Instead, you're better off with a sharp thumb to the eye or a stiff strike to the gills. Step four, Use anything you can as a weapon. A snorkel, a flip, a fancy schmancy waterproof camera. It don't matter, whatever it takes to put a bit of distance between your fingers and that shark's teeth. Once you get a few good shots in, the shark will flee if he knows what's good for him. So there you have it, Shark Hacks 101. You get to hacking, that shark gets to packing. And now, it's time for the answer to Grizzly Griddle's Riddle in the Middle. Why did the hammerhead cross the reef? To get to the other tide. Heh, <laughs> now that's a good earn. Thanks for joining old Grizzly Griddles on another episode of Survival Hacks. And always remember, real survivors don't go looking for danger, so don't go searching for sharks to fight like a doggone action hero. If you want to keep on surviving, remember to subscribe down below. And if you feel like you've mastered the skills to go for the gills, let us know by hitting that like button. Grizz, or now.